friends in this video i will be talking about the resistance and wire length cross-sectional area relationship so if you have a wire and you want to find the resistance in this wire you will need three things first one is a row resistivity second thing is length and cross-sectional area of the wire so if you know these three things then you can find the resistance in that particular wire and as you can see from this relationship resistance is directly proportional to length and inversely proportional to the cross-sectional area so this is also very important relationship between the resistance and length of the wire as well as cross-sectional area of the wire so let us say if you have a wire with length l1 and if you stretch it and the length becomes l2 so if the increase in the length is say 50 percent then it doesn't mean that the resistance will also increase by 50 percent the reason being when you stretch the wire cross sectional area is gonna reduce and that is why even if the resistance and uh, length are directly proportional because of this cross sectional area factor what is happening is that they are not increasing or decreasing in the same proportion also one important thing that you need to remember is that l1 a1 is always equal to l2 a2 so before stretching if the length was l1 and cross sectional area was a1 if you take the product of that that will be equal to length after stretching that is l2 and cross sectional area after stretching that is a2 so if you take the product of that that will be equal to l1 and a1 thanks for watching